Retorpo Flow 3 versus Speed Retorpo. Enhancing the workflow of retopologizing dense models, these two add-ons are dedicated to speeding up the process. Retorpo Flow 3 has the heavier price tag, but comes with more bells and whistles. Speed Retorpo, on the other hand, is budget friendly, but has more flexibility. Starting Retorpo Flow 3 is simple. Select the mesh you want and select the drop down menu and select At Active. It launches into its own workplace and locks you out from Blender's tools, which is the biggest turn off for myself, though the tools provided in the add on are ample enough to get the job done. Setting up Speed Retorpo requires additional steps. First, open the end panel, select the model, and check out settings before initializing. I'm going to tick mirror clipping and then press start retorpo. This will launch into edit mode and force me to place down a single vertex as a starting point. Then I'll extrude to create an edge, extrude again for a face. I have options to change shading parameters to my liking. The tools you'll find inside retorpo flow 3 are polypen. By holding control down and the left mouse button, you can create quads or tries on the fly. The knife. You can quickly create more complex cuts into existing geometry. The loop tool. It allows you to insert and slide edge loops onto the faces. The tweak tool, it allows you to move vertices around one by one or a small group. The relax tool, it smooths your geometry into evenly spaced quads. Contours. You can quickly place and adjust loops around any cylindrical form. Like again, you hold control left mouse button to define the edge. And if you want, you can hold shift and mouse but scroll mouse button to define how many edges you want in the loop. Poly strips. You can draw out a strip and define the number of faces. Patches. Large areas can be filled in at once. Just select the corresponding edges and press enter to fill. And finally the strokes tool. This allows you to put in dense topology pretty quickly. Speed Retorpo, on the other hand, consolidates Blender's built-in tools methodically into the end panel. Because we're not locked out of Blender, we have full access to all tools and other add-ons, making this my preferred setup. One of my favourites is Add B Surface. It allows you to draw straight onto the mesh surface and generate geometry that way. It's not the greatest tool because it can generate flip faces, which could be annoying to fix. If you're thinking about making retopologize in a primary focus, I believe Retorpo Flow 3 may be the tool for you. But if you're just wanting to test the waters, learning some of the basics, it's best to avoid it and just use Speed Retorpo.